Hi everybody, Alex the Flo here from Expert Forex and in today's video I'm going to talk about a very controversial point and it's going to be controversial because most traders spend most of the training and time trying to find the perfect direction and I'm going to show you that direction does not matter and Expert Forex has numerous EAs that trade irrespective of the direction of price action. So let's have a look at why that is so. And what you're going to be seeing today is the easiest and simplest way of making money trading any instrument in any market. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. Very easy. Um, there is an indicator on on the MetaTrader platform, but there... Uh, but I should imagine on any trading platform, it's a basic indicator. It's called the standard deviation indicator. And you see it on the screen in front of you. Basically what happens, it has a way of working out what the middle line of all of this price action is. What is the line that, what is the line that averages out all of this price action? And there we have the line in the middle. Then it looks, and it's called a standard deviation indicator, but then it looks at, and you don't have to worry about the technical term, it looks at one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations, and I'll show you why, from that line. And there you see it on the screen again. You say, all right, there it is, there it is, and there it is. And the reason for this is that if you've worked out your standard deviation line properly, the price action will very rarely go beyond three standard deviations. Again, you don't have to worry about what is a standard deviation. It's just a movement away from the norm, from the average. And this is what exactly is, is shown on the chart. So now we can start trading. And let's have a look. There's two methods, and I'm going to show you both methods. And the first method is when you the, when we on this line here the average line we don't know which direction the market is going to go and as i stated that is the whole object of this video you don't need to have the know the direction so what traders do is they simply enter a buy and a sell so no matter which direction the price goes the trader will cash in a positive deal so when trading this method, what you would do is on devi deviation one line, which is that red line above and below, what you would do is if the price touches that line, you would trade back to the line. That's, that's what would happen. So if you opened a buy and a sell, the buy would be cashed in positively and you would open a sell back to that line. Now what happens is if that sell goes back to the line, your sell entry that you originally opened will more or less be break even and your sell entry that you opened there will make a nice profit so overall you'll be in profit so that's why the buy and sell method works quite well now the next point is oh what if it never stops what if this trend just continues and continues so that's that's the next point so if the trend, if the trend continues it reaches the next standard deviation line you open and, and this is not the method, I'm just giving this as an, an example. You open one trade with two, double the lots of the previous one. So this is not Martingale, you can actually change that, I'm just using it as an example. So what happens is the price goes up, you say, okay, it is very unlikely that the price ever would have reached this point, so therefore I'm going to double my bets on the sell. And then if it goes even further, which it didn't, it, you can see it didn't there, you'd have three lots waiting to go into action. Because it's very seldom, and that's, that's the whole point of standard deviation trading, that it goes out of the third lot. So, uh, so there it goes back and it hits that one. So the, the target for those double, two, that double entries are, is the next line and the target for this one is hit over here. So that's how the system basically works. That, that's the basic system. You just trade back 
to the standard deviation midline. It seems actually logical. If the market is deviating in one way, it will come back to the standard deviation line at some stage. It might even cross over, and, but the same thing, it will waltz around this standard deviation line. And the same thing happens if the price is going down. You open trades in the direction of the center line. If it misses, you open two there and off you go. And there you now note, notice here, here you've cashed in those two and it went down again. So often these kind of transactions repeat themselves. So then you just enter another two over here and you cash in again over there. So there, this is what we call a multiplier effect. Sometimes transactions can repeat and repeat and all the time that money going into your bank account all the time. So that is essentially how the system works. Very simple. So I did mention there are two methods. So the other method says, why open a buy and a sell in the first place? Let's just wait until the price reaches one of the lines, either the uh, buy side or on the sell side, and then enter a deal. So you can eliminate the buy and sell transaction completely and only start entering sales when it reaches those outer, outer lines. So that's the other two methods. So let's... So there are two methods. You can either create a buy and a sell at the midline or you can trade the, the standard de de deviation levels. As simple as that. But see how simple it is. It is incredible. This standard deviation indicator makes it so simple. And it's all based on probability theory. Now I've got advanced, I did my master's in probability theory and statistics. And when you start doing probability theory and statistics, the first thing that you're taught is the bell. And the bell basically says that 68% of price action, if you relate it to forex trading, happens within one deviation of the midline. There's the midline. It ha so 68%. So we would say 68% of transactions happen there. Then on the second, then 95% of the transactions happen there. And then 99% happen on the third deviation. See that? So there's a very small percentage that still goes a little bit further. But it is conditional that you actually calculate your standard deviations properly. And that is what this indicator does. It calculates the standard deviations for you anyway. But you don't need to know all of this. Just all you need to know is that most of the price action happens close to the midline. So let's go through the method. Firstly, it's based on the standard deviation indicator. It's a free indicator, as I said, on all MetaTrader platforms. All you go to is insert channels and then you'll download the standard deviation. It will be a little different to what I've shown you because I have done a couple of things to it, but it is basically that one that I've used. So th the standard deviation creates a dynamic, non-horizontal, you saw that one and it wasn't horizontal, um, grid that is, you, uh, that is unique to every currency. So every currency has its own vibration rate and that's why the standard deviations vary from currency to currency. And that, and again, you don't need to worry about that. That indicator does it for you. It then creates a midline, which I said that, that is the most important part because that is the target for the first trades. The target for the second trades is this is, is the first line. So so it automatically creates a target system. And so as the next point, simply trade back to the midline or the previous deviation line. So it's a very simple system, easy, easy system. And then as you've seen, we've increased lots for deviation lines that are far from the midline. Because what happens there is the probability or the chances of it moving back to the the midline is even stronger because they've got they've gone so far away. So there is a good a good chance that they don't even have to go to the midline. They only have to go to the next line for you to cash in positively. So so you can increase your lot sizing there. And then you always use the previous line as your target. So the first deviation will use the midline as its target. The second deviation will use the first line as a target. Now it sounds complicated when I say standard deviation and all that. It's just a way of saying grid. Those are grid lines, non-horizontal grid lines, because they're dynamic. They actually 
uh, can change from time to time. If you use that the deviation uh, indicator correctly, it won't vary much. It is a not uh, a, what they call a repainting indicator, but bec because if you do your, uh, your calculations correctly, the repainting could be minimal. It will just adjust on a minimal. Basis. Okay, so now I hope you're as excited as I am about this most simple method. You can trade anything, Bitcoin, you can trade gold, silver, oil, Forex, you can do everything with this method. It is the most, and the most successful traders actually use this method without knowing it. Most successful traders are retracement traders. They trade back to the midline. They don't even know they, they're doing it, but that's how they, they, it works. So this method is like spinning a coin, getting $1 for tails and $2 for heads. So if you were to get $2 for heads and $1, for, how often would you spin the coin? You would just stand there and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin and spin, and spin as much as you possibly can because the odds are stacked in your favor all the time. You are stacking the odds in your favor from a probability point of view and from a statistical point of view and using historical charts you are defining your your uh, deviation levels quite accurately and therefore it, everything is on a sound basis so if you're making so much if you have so much success what will you do first you trade as often as you can you can you can, you do, you would just trade and trade so you trade any instrument that you can these principles will work on them and then, ideally, you would automate your trading. Now, you don't have to automate your trading. Let's go back to the chart. So the rules are very clear on this chart, so you don't need to automate it. What you do is, is you say, all right, the price is at the midline. I'm going to be putting a pending order sell there, and I'm going to put a pending order with double the lot sizing over there, and I'm going to be putting a, a pending order over there. And the same thing down here, you say, I'm going to be putting a buy pending order and I'm going to be putting a buy pending so you don't even have to watch the charts you can trade this on an automated basis using pending orders that's how easy the system is but because I like automated trading I have a family of computers that are trading this principle all day long because as I said if you're getting two dollars a spin for one and one dollar you want to trade as often as you can also just note no stops are used because the standard deviation principle is so sound. Now, as I said in the beginning, this is an introduction and it looks very easy. There are refinements necessary. You need to create your standard uh, deviation grids in a certain way. I'll cover that uh, and all of this I will cover in future videos. You need to do some currency selection. You need to do some currency volatility analysis and you need to look at the trendiness of certain currencies. But to a certain degree the standard deviation uh, indicator calculates that for you. So you'll always have the price action within those three bands upwards and downwards. There are time frame considerations. Do you trade this on the five minute? Do you trade it on the four hour? Do you trade it on the daily? So we'll we'll go into that. We, there's also uh, uh, position sizing or lot sizing considerations. Do you double up at the next level or you do you just you trade the same amount? There's nothing wrong with trading the same amount and so on. So there's a lot of variables there. And what kind of accounting uh, account sizing do you need? You need enough money to be able to take a negative trade right up to the third standard deviation so there are some margin and money considerations but because all of the action happens close to the the midline uh, you build up a lot of reserves as you cashing in positive trades and by the time it gets to the third line you have got so many reserves that it's normally enough to cover any uh, unforeseen circumstances and then you need to calculate how many instruments you can trade. You can't just go mad uh, like I have and trade every single instrument there is. Oil, crypto, metals, forex, everything like that. You don't, you, you have to calculate how much you can afford to trade because you have to 
pay the broker's margins and so on. So there are some other considerations that come into it. And then there is the trading of non-forex instruments with, uh, that, uh, that you need to actually have some experience about. Uh, uh, some of these instruments have minimum lot sizing and all kinds of other limitations that place on it and you have to have experience in trading them. And then what we'll also look at are the automated versions of what I've just shown you. We've got a lot of automated versions that trade around this concept. The whole idea of this particular video was to introduce you to the concept and you can see how simple and easy the concept is. What I would suggest now is that you go to your charts, put the standard deviation indicator on there, create the three, three uh, deviations away and then fit all your price action in those charts and that is your safety. That is your safety level and be aware that it is it does repaint as every day goes by uh, there are new calculations but if you do it correctly it will be minor minor adjustments so i really look forward to the next few videos to, sh to clarify these particular points but if you've got grasped the basic principles you'll be able to actually start trying this out now i hope you found this interesting and educational and have i hope it's given you something to think about and as the heading says direction doesn't matter whether the price goes up or down. It only thing matters is has it reached a standard deviation level and if it has then trade back to the midline. Simple as that. Very so now you can forget about worrying about what direction your next trade's gonna be. Everything is predecided in this trading system for you. So I look forward to your comments in, uh, uh, on this video and any questions that you might have. And please remember there will be other videos where I will clarify items that are not mentioned in this particular video. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.